Hey everybody, Happy New Year and welcome back to our returning students and welcome to our brand new students. So, um, this is the time of the week when we will be doing our demos, lectures. So for me, like, you know, I, I know this is kind of like a broken record for everybody who's a returning student, but uh, for me, this is my chance to show you sort of my approach to animating, right? So it's really my way of approaching dialogue shots, um, body mechanic shots, cartoony shots, realistic shots. And what I'd like to do, uh, first of all, is plan, right? So you've got to plan your shots before you start them, right? Now, this is a shot that we actually started probably at the end of last block, and uh, we didn't quite get to finish it. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Iona if you, if you close down your video, cause it'll make it a little bit faster for everybody else. Thank you, buddy, cheers. Um, and uh, everybody kind of just come in, like just mute your audio if, you, if you've got your audio on, cause it'll make the lecture a little smoother. All right, very good. So, so this is a shot that we started last block, and we did the planning stage, and we actually did the blocking, right? Because we were waiting for uh, Victor Vignals to, to finish up the facial on the rig before we release it. So it's a really good way of just kind of beta testing the, the body mechanics of the shot. And it's this Jeeves character, and I've always wanted to do a dialogue with John Cleese. Um, so like using his voice as the sound of the character. So this is what we, we roughed in live last block. So if you want to actually see how I did this actual 2D pass of the shot, then have a look in the last block and I'll show you exactly where that is for any of our new students. Uh, but let's take a look real quick. Now look, no one is to stone anyone until I blow this whistle. Do you understand? Even, and I want to make this absolutely clear, even if they do say Jehovah. All right, so when I was roughing this in, like it's all improv, right? Everything that I'm doing is sort of how I feel um, at that time, like for the actual shot, right? So like there's a few acting choices in there that were gonna work out pretty well. And there's a couple in there, like the last one didn't quite land for me as soon as I saw it, you know, like with fresh eyes. So I went ahead and we started blocking this out. Now when I'm blocking stuff out, I always try and hit those storytelling poses first, right? And spend the most amount of time on them. And um, so like when I'm getting into like these poses where there's an X, they're like the first poses that I will do because they're sort of like the storytelling poses. Like, so these ones in between, they're like transitional frames, right? They're transitional poses. So they're very, very rough and sketchy. And, but I really want to nail these poses first. And if I don't have facial, um, and usually, like, even if I do have facial, I will still rough out the body first, and then I'll start to work on the expression for that pose, as if I'm storytelling or storyboarding the actual uh, the shot, right? So, like, if anybody who's going to watch the shot should be able to see from these boards the emotion of the character, the, uh, the, the style of the animation, like how pushed it's going to be, and um, even before it's even in between, right? So I usually just block that out in Maya on, on step mode. Like I'll actually animate it in spline, but then I will set, like once I get my pose in there, I'll set everything to step mode and do a play blast so, I, so I'm not distracted by the computer's in-betweens, okay? So I think uh, we really did a lot um, last block, but let, let's see if this is the, the golden poses here. That probably is, I'm hoping it is. Because uh, I'm just now, I got back to Montreal last night and I just transferred all the, the files in when I got home from work. So let's have a look here and see if this is it. No, no, no one! Okay, so it, it actually has like some of the, the transitions in here. So, but take it from me, like we, we did it like from a, a blocking stage. So, so it does actually have the transitions in here. But what we're going to be doing tonight is going over the whole shot and really pushing things, refining it so that it gets ready for the facial stage, okay? Now look, no one is to stone anyone until I blow this whistle, do you understand? Even, and I want to make this absolutely clear, even if they do say Jehovah. So that now part look. at the very end is still in step mode, so we're going to break that down tonight for sure. Right, so in here, this is sort of like what it would have been like, except this has got a little bit more action to it, um, so that it doesn't actually have uh, that many transitions 
yet, right? So we have to go in and break that part down so that it keeps the snap and it keeps the, uh, the fluidity of the actual shot, right? So obviously there's no facial, there's no even look at stuff uh, happening here that was in like the 2D pass. So we really need to go in and start to really snap up like and push a lot of these transitions that are in here. Because even when I'm looking at it with fresh eyes, there's parts in there that feel just a little too slow. And it's really just like a, a this was really just like a once over for the shot. So then we're gonna go in and start to refine it so that it gets ready for that, that facial pass. Even if they do say Jehovah. So that part right there, that's the part that I really wanna push and um, more so than it was in the 2D version, right? So if, if you look and watch the 2D version, the last part, the, the last pose just didn't really land. And, you know, especially if you're gonna do um, like a cartoony shot, you really want like, like to end on a good note. And this one just felt like I was coming back to something a little bit more neutral, you know? So like this is that pose right there, right? But after that, like it just sort of like came back down and it was just like a settle where I really want him to end like forward, like facing the, the, the crowd that he's actually talking to, right? Really pushing forward, all right? So let's watch it one more time and I'll point out like the, there's areas in here that feel just a little too slow and there's areas in here that feels just a little too fast. Like this very first move just feels like a mistake because I'm, it's too broad over too few frames, right? So I think what we need to do is kind of find something that's maybe a little closer to this, you know, for that first pose, like just going from here, you know, get the eye going across, you know, and then settle into that. Just so you're, you're it's almost like you're, you're start off like with him, you know, getting to that looking over his shoulder, because right now it feels a little bit too broad for the, the amount of frames that we've got. Now look, no one is to stone anyone until I blow this. This part right here feels a little too fluid because it, it's kind of coming in and out really slowly. So we've got to like snap that up and get some tension in there, you know, until I blow this whistle, you know, so really trying to get like some tremble shakes and then like pushing that accent so it hits hard, you know, little, you know, shakes of the body, shakes of the shoulders until I blow this whistle, you know, so really keeping that tight, okay? Blow this whistle, do you understand? Even, and I want to make this absolutely clear. And this part right here with the, the wagging of the finger feels a little too slow. And even if I'm absolutely clear, you know, you really try to get that. Even, and I want to make this absolutely clear. Right. You know, and what I might do in here is hold on this pose for a little bit longer and then keep this transition a little bit faster and a little bit more snappy so that it really pushes that energy up, right? I want to make this absolutely clear. Right. Make it absolutely clear. You know, sort of like, you know, want to make this absolutely clear. So it comes down a little harder, a little faster, and a little bit more energy to that shake. Okay. Yeah. Even if they do say Jehovah. And in this part, we've got to make it nice because, like, it, it, it's almost like an erratic kind of hand move, you know? And we, like, I think, like, what, what I could do to kill it is to make that super smooth and really floppy. So what I really want to try to do is get like something that's a little out of the ordinary, that just has this really nice kind of frenetic feel to it, you know, that will really push that, uh, that accent in there, all right? Even if they do say Jehovah. And then hit that nice and hard, Jehovah, you know, you know, and then he'll, he'll have like a little breath at the end, all right? And that's it. So let's go right into Maya. And uh, start hopping in on this. I'm going to keep my chats open here so you guys can chat in any questions you have. And I'm going to close down my, my video feed here just so I can have a, a full screen from Maya. All right. All right, cool. So let's just make sure we got everything in here all set up. So show the curve. So for anybody new to, uh, to Victor Vignal's rigs, um, you got to show like the HUD, right? So if, it, if it's not showing up here, you know, make sure that I get turned off and turn it back on. And then we get like the auto car on, right? And then select on a control, right? So that it changes to the Jeeves rig, right? And then you'll use his shelf up here. So like all this stuff, like select all, you know, or select hair or whatever, like select face, like it's all going to be there once the, once the actual uh, rig gets finished, right? So this is select body or select all like for everything, okay? All right, so now uh, with that picked, I'm gonna go ahead and get 
in the graph editor, and I'm going to do Control Shift, select on the graph editor to get a little icon up here, a little quick pick. All right, and then just make sure that it goes all to uh, all those points. So when I'm breaking it down, I can feel like where the in betweens are. Okay, um, so these rigs are nice and fast, right? So you, we should be able to, you know, get like a good ability to, to scrub through. Like, there shouldn't be any uh, slowdown at all, right? No one, Mr. Stone, anyone until I blow this whistle. So like in here, right? So if I'm looking through this part right here, it feels like I'm I'm settling out a little bit too much and then coming back in. So like if I'm looking through there, I want to really try to hit that pose and get like that nice tremble, right? So like I might hit that bottom pose a little bit harder. So I'm going to zoom in on this little section right here just so we can really hit it. Right, because right now it feels like there's a few in betweens in there and they're not actual keys, right? So I want to make sure that we zoom through that. So I'm playing with just the spacing of this, not even the uh, actually, I'm playing with the timing, but that's controlling the spacing, right? So, like in here, like there's a few in betweens in there. So I want to really hit that and get those down nice and fast, right? So just playing with the timing here. So I'm going to go, this is on twos right now, this is on twos. So on twos, on twos, right? And then we hit to there. I'm going to put this basically on ones, right? So, right, so I'm going to copy this over to, I'm going to move this over to here. So right now what I'm doing for anybody who's brand new to Maya is select, like clicking on 119, hit shift, and then click with my left mouse button so it's highlighted, and then use my middle mouse button to shift the timing, okay? All right, and then here I want to hit this nice and hard, so I'm going to put this on ones as well, okay, and this on ones. All right, so now like that part is going to be a little bit faster, right? All right, and then what I want to try to do now, like just because there is no uh, major in-betweens and I'm going to push this a little bit further so like I'm going to get a little bit more of a drag there and then hit down a little bit harder here and then I'm going to go beyond right so I'm going to go select all make sure we set a key there and set a key here I'm going to overshoot that right so right now what's happening is it goes down to there and then just kind of slithers up into this very very slowly but if I want that overshoot to hit I will probably want to bring this key over to here Right, and then hold it, okay? All right, so I'm gonna basically copy this pose here over to here, okay? So it's the exact same pose, right? Basically held there, right? And then we're gonna go into this nice and fast as well, right? So we're gonna hit to that and then come back out of it. All right, and I want that to be hard as well. So I'm going to bring these guys a little closer to that key over there. So that's going to be uh, maybe a little bit there. Okay, but let's keep it. Let's keep it the timing tight so that it, so that he uh, he remains in that pose for a little longer. Okay, so I'm going to copy this pose back over to here. Okay, I'm going to, and this is now, I still have everything selected, right? So all the timing will go along with that. Okay, so I'm going to go whistle. Okay, and then we have a slight settle on this pose, just so it doesn't just stop completely dead, right? So between 137 and 144, I'm just grabbing the chest, just shifting it over slightly. Right, and then maybe bring the whole body down so we get that little bit of a settle. Okay, this hand like make it go slightly out. So, what I'm trying to do is create like this 
a little bit of a settle just in that pose. And what's happening here is like a little opposite action, right? So like this hand came in here for the whistle and then it's going to go out the same way that actually came in, right? So it's just going to go back that way. So we got this opposite action because the hand is going this way and this hand is going this way. And it's sort of like the opposite to the direction of the head. So it just gives it a bit, bit more of an organic kind of move, right? And then for here, I'm going to anticipate this a little bit, just so he, he can come back down, flow this, right? So just to give it a bit more energy, I'm going to try to just get a little bit of an anticipation here for that whistle part, right? So I'm just going to go the opposite way to the way that it's actually going to go, right? So I'm going to go this way a little bit. Okay, and again, I'm gonna go slightly opposite here. So I'm just bringing this hand out this way, and then it's gonna come back in, right? I'm gonna delete this key, because I don't need this one anymore. Cut that. Up. Okay. And then let's go ahead and just anticipate this down just a little bit, squish them. So it's gonna come from there. And we're going to come back a little bit with this. This. And then come in nice and fast into that. Okay. Now I need like to not come out of that really slowly. You need to come out of that pretty fast. So I'm going to copy 129 now over to 133. Okay. So like, so we're basically doing that anticipation, right? And I'll make sure we got everything selected. 129 to 133. Set a key on there. Okay, just go slightly more this way. Move down. And then we're going to come very fast up into that. Okay, good. All right, I'm just gonna play this for a second. Until I blow this whistle, do you understand? Okay. Until I blow this whistle, do you understand? Until I blow this whistle, do you understand? Until I blow this whistle. All right, the only, the only thing that I'm not crazy about is like that little head tilt that's happening right here. So I'm gonna just bring this back a little bit more this way. Now a little bit of drag this way. And let's see if we can just kind of get him to settle with his head tilted towards the whistle. Okay, and here I'm gonna drag this a little bit. Just to push this little head uh, turn right here. We're just gonna get really push this part. Okay. Until I blow this whistle, do you understand? 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 Okay. Now I'm gonna just have a look at the, the path of action of this hand right here, because it feels like it, it kind of has a little bit of a jerky move right there. And it feels like it just needs to settle down a bit. And it's part of like that, that settle that was in there before. So I'm just gonna try to get that out of there. So 
let that fall through there, fall through. Fall through. And then this is where like it'll sort of snap up. And settle between there to there. Okay, now let's have a look at the hand, this hand right here. Okay, keep it, I'm gonna try to keep it a little tighter in here. So it still has the same move, but just a little tighter so it doesn't actually retract back quite so suddenly, or quite so smoothly either. And then, and then we'll come back here, a little faster there. And I'll pull this back a little bit this way and then let that come up nice and fast into that. Okay, good. Until I blow this whistle, do you understand? Until I blow this whistle, do you understand? Until I blow this whistle. All right, good. Now there's there's a, there's a few like little kind of things that are happening in here where like the body's coming down and then it comes down again. But like, I feel like we just want to like just smooth through that just a little bit. And this is where like, you know, the pose to pose and then you do like that straight ahead sort of uh, pass on top of it just to give it that organic flow, right? So like uh, as I'm coming through here, like I'm still trying to feel like that there is like a fluidity to it, even though there's a sharpness to, to the actions. So it doesn't feel quite so uh, stop starty, right? Like right in here, I feel like we could probably smooth, like get, get like a little bit more fluidity out of the bend forward. Right, so maybe keep them going forward here just a bit more. See the way the buttons sort of stop right there? But if we just push that forward a little bit more just to get that, that pushed feel. And then come up nice and fast into this. And then settle, right, okay. Until I blow this whistle, do you understand? Until I blow this whistle, do you understand? Until I blow this whistle. Okay, now I've got to just smooth out this arm a little bit as well. Now that I push the body a little bit too far. Okay, so right here, keep this going. this whistle do you understand until i blow this whistle do you understand until i blow this whistle do you understand okay let's until just do like I a blow quick this whistle. play blast just at that little section right there okay just so we can see how it's actually feeling now when i'm actually animating this like when i'm posing it out like i will be posing this out in three dimensions but it's just now that i'm kind of working through like some of the transitions that i start to uh, to turn off I can just have a look right at the audience camera so that I can see exactly what we're going to be seeing. Until I blow this whistle, do you understand? Okay. Until I blow this whistle, do you understand? Until I blow this whistle, do you understand? Good. Until I blow this whistle, do you understand? So I'm trying to imagine it like with the, the dialogue on top and like the the cheeks blowing and the mouth going and everything. Until I blow this whistle, do you understand? Until I blow this whistle, do you Okay, so there's just like a few little things in here that I really want to try to push. Blow. Like just really push that, that arc that's happening right there on the head. Okay. Okay, so we have like that little an anticipation of the head right here. So let's see if we can just kind of push that just a bit further. And then like 
on the way up. Get that just happening just a little harder. That's like a little bit further. Let it follow through and then let it come back down. Okay, and then like as we're coming down here, like a little bit of a secondary action here, maybe a tiny little head shake. Right, so right in here, just to give it a little bit more interest or sophistication, right? So just a little bit of a shake happening right there. And let go across over to here. Okay. And then you can feel like that. There's a little bit of a drag right there. Okay. Okay. Understand? Until I blow this whistle. Do you understand? All right. It's worth to like doing these little sections, like section by section. Like once you get the whole thing blocked in, um, it's nice to be able to just kind of look at like one little section um, and, and just kind of play blast that little bit rather than play blasting the whole thing again. Just kind of take like the sections by section, you know, because then you can really kind of focus on, you know, how the transitions are working. Until I blow this whistle, do you understand? Good. Until I blow this whistle, do you understand? 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 Okay, good. So like those little moves right here, that's where like he's going to be looking, you know, over towards screen left and then over towards screen right. And then we get that little, uh, little blink and transition into the next pose. Until I blow this whistle, do you understand? Okay, good. Until I blow this whistle, do you understand? Until I blow this whistle. And it's nice the way he brings it up, but we could probably get a little bit more of a fluidity pass working through here, right? So like getting that hand to come up a little bit broader into that, that uh, reveal of the whistle, right? So like in here, so in here we could probably start to bring this up a little bit more fluidly you know so right here like it's not such a, an appealing pose so if we raise this up start to bring the uh, the arm out a little bit start you know raising up this way with the uh, with the elbow first really try and get that get it nice and high you know so it comes up this way and then let it come back down, right? So if I just get that to swing out this way, and then we get to flip over, right? Okay, and then let it come over this way. So I bring it around sort of a little bit more uh, outside the silhouette rather than the way it was coming in the other way. Okay, right here, let's see if we can get that a little bit more smooth. And smooth is really the wrong word. When, whenever I'm trying to do like something cartoony, it's more like, uh, it's more of a, a flourish, really, you know, to the, to the way that you're actually kind of bringing things around. It's not really smooth is not the right word, because if it's smooth, then it can sometimes feel a little bit too underwater. And like whenever I'm doing something cartoony, I want to feel that snap. I want to feel that energy. And then we get that little, little schmoosh up in there. So I go here, get this to go a little bit wider. Bring it around by his hair. Okay. All right, 
right, so that, that part right there has to be faster. Okay, so I'll get that there. So it's nice and snappy. So we've got to hit that accents, right? So it might be nice to even get like a little bit of a of a shake tremble right here, you know. Give it a little bit more energy. Now let's see. Uh, Henry, Barbie, do you press S key all the time, or do you? Uh, no, I've actually got uh, auto key on here, so I, I really don't have to hit the S key, you know, at all. Um, so like I'm really just going um, with the comma and the period key, um, and then I'm just literally just just making it go like that, changing frames, and it stays right. So like this little auto key right here, like that's highlighted. All right, well, that's a great question because I used to. Yeah, I used to not really trust Maya to, to save the keys, but then I found that that was sort of a little bit redundant, you know. You know, I, I, I should trust the software a little bit more, but uh, sometimes it lets me down. <laughs> All right. Good question, though. Yeah, keep those questions coming. Thanks, Henry. Yeah, so like at this point, like there is, like even in those little sections, like there is a key on, on the, the whole body, you know, so it's not just on the, on the hand, you know, because like even though like I'm, I'm looking at uh, just this hand at this particular section, um, like even though like I really do want to, you know, see like how everything's transitioning. So like even here to here, like I might want that to be, a little bit more turned this way so I can really kind of work on the spacing. You know, here, maybe I'll get this up a little bit higher so I can get this to go a little bit broader, you know, and then really hitting through there. All right, so it's really just like, this is sort of like a straight ahead pass to make um, some of these transitions feel a little bit more fluid. Anyone, until I blow this whistle. Do so you like that little shake in there, like it's gonna add like a little bit of an extra sophistication to that. All right, so let's just take a check out that little section. Anyone, until I blow this whistle, do you understand? Good. Anyone, until I blow this whistle, do you understand? And like that, that little accent on whistle just feels a tiny bit late. So I'm going to retime that a little bit, but I'm not going to change the actual posing. I'm just going to change the timing, All right? So let's say. Anyone, until I blow this whistle, do you understand? Just whistle, just feels a little late, right? So let's have a look. So I'm going to do a select all, right? So everything's there. I blow this whistle. So, so it feels like it's on, but like when it's being played back, it feels late. So. So what I'm going to do is tighten up on some of these, these right here, right? So basically bringing, uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm uh, clicking in a, in, a, in a blank spot with my, sh my shift key and left mouse button and just dragging the box around. So I'm just going to drag everything that's selected a little bit earlier. So like one frame earlier there, uh, one frame earlier here. Even here, I'm gonna just, just get that light so that it's a tiny bit earlier, like it's preceding the accent. You know, that's where I really want it. I blow this whistle. All right, let's check it out. See if that made it any better. So, like this is the way it was before. Anyone until I blow this whistle. Do you understand? All right, let's have a look now. The breakdown stage, this stage right now that we're doing, this is where I feel like the shot really starts to come alive, you know, because like before it was just like step mode poses 
And then you're getting to start to see like, okay, how do we get that fluidity? Like, how do we get those overlapping actions happening? And there really is this sort of breakdown stage where, uh, where you start to look at like each limb and then the, the whole entire pose um, and how it's, how it's being affected by each limb. Anyone? Until I blow this whistle. Do you understand? See, that's better, right? Because now it feels like he's hitting that, that second point at the actual whistle itself. Anyone? Until I blow this whistle. Do you understand? Anyone? Until I blow this whistle. Do you understand? Okay, and now he's Anyone? trying like a, do you understand? Right. Anyone? Until I blow this whistle. Do you understand? Good, okay. Anyone? Until I blow this whistle. Do you understand? Anyone? Until I blow this whistle. Do you and you even get like that little bit of a of a shake right here, you know, as he really gets the, the whistle up and then hits that pose. So we're hitting like like this nice transition, like so the arms are not coming up at exactly the same time. Like so you get that really nice snap in there. Like so there's a fluidity to the way this arm comes around and points in but then there's a little bit of a, a nice nuance to where like this arm his left arm right the screen right arm comes up anticipates and then hits that pose so it kind of reveals it a little bit before we actually point towards it right anyone until i blow this whistle do you understand good all right good getting there all right next so we wanted to retime right here. So I want to delay. I want to stay in this pose for a little bit longer. So we're spending a little less time transitioning down. And then we hit that the way the same way. So it's really just the, the timing of how we're getting from this pose to the next pose. So again, select all. Right, so it's right here, right between these two, right? So I want to tighten up that timing. And right now we've got this um, fours, right? So every fourth frame, so we got 204, 208, 212. And then, then we go to threes, and then we go into this ones, right? So now <clears throat> let's go ahead and grab this, make it onto three. I'm going to shift left mouse drag. A box around those two, bring it a little bit closer. And then these guys, let's tighten up that timing too. And tighten up that. And tighten up there. Okay. So like what was on threes is now on twos, what's on what was on fours is on threes. And we may even tighten up a little bit further. But let's have a look and see how that feels. Anyone until I blow this whistle. Do you understand? Even and I want to make this absolutely clear. So that's even better. Um, but let's uh, let's really focus in on this whole section. Even and I want to make even and I want to make so I feel like this part should be a little bit earlier too. Like just kind of starting, just, I mean, I'm just talking about a couple of frames, but like starting that, like as he's uh, getting into that pose. So we hit that pose a tiny bit earlier. Like that, right? Maybe a couple of frames earlier. Like that. All right. So now we're making more out of this pose, right? So we've got to do something here. We can't just kind of come up and stop in that pose. We've got to come up, overshoot, come back down, right, to really feel it. Question. Uh, Beth, is there a demo recorded already that goes over smear frames? Um, yes, there is, but we will be doing that um, uh, throughout this actual uh, shot as well. So don't worry about that. Once we get the facial in there, we'll go over smear frames for sure. Uh, but absolutely. What is this? Feature update. Uh, okay, I'm going to just close this down because I do not want to do this yet. Remind me in three days. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. All right. But yes, for sure. 
And really like the smear frame, like just to give you like a, a quick explanation of it, a smear frame is not just um, for show. It's really to allow us to do fast moves and keep them fluid, right? Because graphically what you're trying to do is uh, right here, I'm trying to get like this hand to go from this point, you know, up to this point a little bit faster and without strobing, right? So all I'm actually doing here is just picking on the hand, right? Uh, picking on the fingers and then smearing it, right? So just basically scaling it out, right? So like if I go to here, like you can see I'm scaling up the hand to 1.5 and all I'm doing here is, um, and th this is maybe something that you guys may not be completely used to, but if you wanna try to do something very, very subtle, Right, right now, I'm just holding down my middle mouse button and uh, like ramping up that at attribute, right? But if I want to like do it a little bit more subtly, um, I hold down, um, sorry, hold down control and then the middle mouse. And you can see like it's actually going incrementally, right? You can see it right here, like if you watch these numbers, without holding down control and using the, the middle mouse button, uh, it goes pretty fast, right? Like it's hard to get like a subtle actual shape. Um, but if I want to go like more subtly, just to, to really go finite, you know, uh, using the control key and then shifting uh, the middle mouse, right? So just going side to side. So it's a nice subtle way of actually doing that, right? Um, so like, but here's the thing, like when you're gonna do like a smear frame, you don't want to do it for too many frames. You want to hit that nice and fast so that it feels um, like you're, you're feeling it rather than actually seeing it, right? Um, so, and the same thing like with the, with like the head or something, like if you're going to do like a little smear frame uh, with your head, like same thing, you want to be able to like, you know, if I was going to do like a smear frame here, like I'd probably want to do it like in the fast motion, like maybe like probably here, by going across over to there, right? And then going ahead and just kind of scaling it this way, right? So that it feels like it's coming from there over to there a little bit faster. Now there probably, it really isn't a need to do a smear frame there. So like, I, I probably like I'm always doing it like at this point, like just putting that even in there, but we'll see how it looks, right? We'll see how it looks. And then we can always take it out afterwards because it's, it's something that you can kind of go and, uh, and kind of use like with a pinch of salt, right? Like you don't want to use too much of it and too many times either, right? But uh, in here, I probably want to just bring that back just a little bit, just so it, uh, like the hair doesn't actually go wider and skinnier, right? So like I'm graphically looking at the hair here, right? So if I was going to do this, I probably want to bring that hair and the head just a little bit more that way. Okay, so you still get like that little arc, right? And then the head goes this way. And then just kind of watching like where the, the hair actually goes. This is why I say like here, this is probably not the best, you know, point like to actually do a smear frame, but I might give it a little bit more of a, of a fluid feel anyway, right? Because we're going to be pushing this, this pose anyway, like getting into this. Okay. All right, so so in here, like I want to hit this pose a little harder. Um, so like I want to overshoot and then come back down to this, right? So what I'm going to do is select on everything here and go like maybe two or three frames after this, set the same pose, okay? So 189 and then save it right to there. And then what I'm going to do is overshoot this one, right? So I'm going to grab like the, the root so I can go higher here. Okay, and then let's get the, the head to go a little higher as well. So it goes up, and then it's gonna come back down into there, right? And then like we can probably go a little bit broader now with this, uh, this arm. Now that we're doing like that overshoot, right? So we can probably go a little bit broader up and then come back down to there. Okay, grab like the shoulder. a little higher and what I'm looking for here is like a way to get him into this pose 
with that fluidity, right? So I don't want everything to stop at the same time, right? I want to have some overlapping actions in here. So like I want the arm to feel like it's stopping right there, uh, but the head like maybe to keep going, right? So maybe we'll get like a little bit more overlap through here, even, right? So we might get a little bit of a, of a head shake. Let's see what he's saying. Even and I. Yeah, so even and I, right? So maybe we get like a little bit of a head shake happening here so it doesn't feel like it's actually stopping. Uh, this arm back here, like we want like that to be nice and snappy too, right? So I want to maybe get this to kind of straighten out a little bit. Okay, go a little bit beyond here. And that's going to come back out, right? So we're going to copy like this pose, like over to, uh, over to here as well. So we can really hit that pose nice and hard. Okay, so bring this down a bit. Okay, again, you can kind of see like some opposite actions happening here. Right, so the body's coming down, arm is going this way, this arm is going this way. So we're getting that little opposite action, right? And I'm going to keep, keep them kind of this around here. And then we can come back into this, you know, even if I, okay. Okay, let's check that out. Let's zero in on this little section. Even, and I want to be this absolutely clear. Even, and I want to be this absolutely clear. Even, and I want to. Okay, so even, and I. Okay, so this feels like it's he's coming up for a second accent here, like that's a little less than the even, you know, but like let's still get keep them going up, like keep that energy up, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, set a key on this whole thing. Okay. Keep the same sort of energy, right? Okay, so get that pose. Okay. All right, I don't want everything going in the same direction at the same time, right? So I want to bring the shoulder down just a bit to get that opposing action again. Okay, bring the arm in. Okay. Bring this arm down a bit. Okay, so that's fine like that next pose, right? So it's going to be a little higher than this. Okay, and I, I'm trying my best like to, like if I bring the character to a stop that I don't want to cover over both eyes, right? I want to see if I can keep that, that uh, directionality happening, right? So I can get this, once we get the facial in there, we can still keep that, uh, that directionality happening. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to raise them up a little bit here. Okay, so I'm trying not to go quite as high as that, like absolutely clear, which is the highest point, right? So I don't want to go quite as high as that. But I want to keep them in this pose, playing this pose, like so that it's the same attitude. We're just trying to get uh, a little bit more energy out of this pose. So it's not like a brand new pose, right? So it's basically just giving life to that pose, right? I, I, you know, the one thing that like I, I see a lot of is that, uh, you know, people who put in too many poses, you know, like, whereas you can really start to see, um, the animation kind of fall apart because there's too many poses. You know, they put in like a, a brand new pose for every line, 
you know, whereas you can still kind of contain it a little bit more and get more bang for your buck if you try to do as few poses as possible. Um, all right. Very good. Yeah. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Prevent stropping. Stropping. Yeah. So it's usually done by scaling, not translating. Yeah. Yeah. Smear frames are usually sort of like elongating, like the actual limbs. Um, like you can, like if I, you know, this is, this is FK, but if this was IK and I really wanted um, him to, to dash off screen or something, then I could translate the hips this way and the chest that way. So therefore using translating, um, to make him stretch out, um, like, or if this is IK arms, um, then I would maybe, you know, scale out, you know, just kind of basically translate the hand out so that the arm looks longer. But it really is just giving the appearance of elongating the character, all right? Exactly. Just to give it a little bit more uh, fluidity and take away the strobe feel. Okay. okay. And I want to make this absolutely clear. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of keep this kind of tight in there. I don't want it to feel too, uh, too soft, right? Too floaty. So we got this as coming into that. Okay, so that's good. All right, and then we're going to go copy this, you know, because we want to basically go from there and hold this pose just for a little bit longer. Okay, and then we're going to tighten up a little bit here. So we're going to go ahead and put this on twos. Like everything selected, right? Bring these guys down. Make it nice and snappy. And this gives me a little bit extra time, like with this actual pose, right? Okay. okay, and there's like a little, I want to make this. Okay, so let's see if we can get like that. That little kind of break in the voice, make this so a little bit higher here. Maybe a little bit of a tilt. And I'll drop down the, the arm a little bit because it's going to raise it up here, right? So I'm just going to drop it down just a smidge, right? And then we'll get the, the chest, get a little action going there on this. Okay, so hold on, let's do inspect all. Set a key there, set a key. Okay, so again, I'm gonna try to get that opposite action happening. Just bring this shoulder down. So if the head's going up, I'm gonna bring the, the shoulders down. Okay, get the hand, the, the, uh, the body just going slightly up, just to give it that little bit of an extra accent. Okay, I'm going to bring this back here. So again, select all. So that's the, the next sort of next accent inside this pose. Okay, bring the shoulder down just a smidge. Okay, go a little bit higher here. Okay, drop that down a bit. Drop this down a bit as well. Slightly up with the body. Okay, 
Okay, and I want to make this. I feel like <clears throat> I want to get like it's just a bit more action out of the head through here, right? So like I'm gonna try to bring him down, and I'm gonna start to bring him, start to bring it up in here. So like get that little down action, and then start to bring it up here. Want to make it, and then we can bring him down through here, right? So I get a little bit of extra. A little bit of extra head. Okay. Okay, and I feel like that's maybe a little too slow, so I'm going to try to get a little bit of a head action through here. So I want to make it. I want to make it. This I want to make this a little higher, so it's still sort of like a little bit of a transition right there into this. And then let's <clears throat> so we're trying to make this nice and fast. So absolutely. I feel like this actually should be a little bit lower. Abs. Even here, now start to bring this down a little bit further. So really leading with the head here. And I'm going to start the head shake here. Okay, and then here, go a little bit higher, push this a little further. Okay, and then this is where he's going to just have that little bit of a stop. All right, okay. All right let's just play that. Even, and I want to make this absolutely clear, even if, and, even, and I want to make this absolutely clear, even, and I want to make this So I'm going to reduce the shake here because there is a shake right here. So let's reduce that down. So I'll just do like a snappier move. Okay, so like instead of like doing the head shake there, let's just bring it over. Kind of hit hit a pose, right? So it's like coming up and then hits the pose. Want to make it? So I'm just gonna get a little bit more of a head turn here. Want to make it? And then we'll see if we can get get them to sort of like stay in that orientation right there for the head. So just a little bit of a wilder head turn right there. Okay, so I'll bring this back down. This. Okay. Even and I want to make this absolutely clear. Okay. Get there. It just feels just a little, little stiff. And I even if I make this absolutely stop. Okay. So 
So I'll just try to get like a little nicer transition from there. So what I'm looking at is just the, the design of how he's actually going around into that, like just the, the sheer arc of it. I'm right? just kind of following the nose as it comes up into there. It's going to just get that a little bit more graceful and then come out into that. Okay, just a tiny bit wider of an arc. Okay. All right. Question, uh, Lona. Uh, while well, blocking, when we set a key on an empty frame, single for a uh, single body part, should you key the whole body? Should we key the whole body? It's a it's a good question. Um, I feel like once you're getting into like the minute sort of details of um, where where you're actually breaking stuff down, um, it's it is dangerous not to keep track of like where you're setting keys, right? So in here, like I do actually have uh, a key on everything, right? So I'm looking at like the whole body. Um, and like when I set a key, I'm, I'm really kind of seeing how each drawing um, is transitioning into the next part, right? So right at this point, I'm just looking at the head, um, but I can see that like, like right through here, like, like I know this head is going to have like a little bit more of an arc. So like if I'm looking at this, I could set a key on everything and just see like where everything's landing, right? So in here, like I may want this shoulder just to come down slightly. And then, and this is sort of like that, that uh, straight ahead pass that I'm talking about. Like that really gives it a little bit more of an organic kind of feel, right? So now I'm just kind of looking at the shoulder and the arm, like as it comes through and goes into that settle, right? So here, maybe I'm just gonna try to bring this down a little bit so that it, it follows like its own sort of weight, if you will, like, and it's not really determined by the body so much, right? Because it is just sort of coming down and settling down in there. But if, if I kind of just kind of do this little straight ahead pass on top of it, it gives it a nice overlapping action, right? So now, like if I'm looking at this head, I can go in, on this once, I just give that a little bit more of an arc dip down, right? And then start to come back up. Right? right? So now there's like, and I wanna make this. So like in here, wanna make this, I wanna like hit this a little harder right here. Right here. And like I'm, I'm seeing this now with the dialogue on top of it, right? So if I'm imagining like I want to make this, like I can feel like the, the squash of the M and then the loudness and the, the pop of the vowel. So like keeping like the head up here just a little bit. So like right between here to here, I can favor the top here. So I'm going to just key the head, right, for now. And then I can... Have a look at the whole body, set a key there, and then see what's actually happening on everything else. Right? Do I want like this hand just to come down here, like very, very smoothly between uh, 201 to 204? Or do I want to just try and hit like a little bit of an extra move in there so that I can add that little bit of extra fluidity, right? So instead of just bringing the hand straight down, I can bring it up a little bit you know, to get like a little bit of an extra um, accent out of it, right? So from here to here, bring this back up. Does that make sense? I mean, it is sort of like one of these things like where we did like do pose to pose for the whole entire shot. 
And now we're looking at ways to, to break that up a little bit, right? So that it doesn't feel uh, so pose to pose, right? They were now actually adding in extra sophistication so that it feels like nothing's going to start or stop at the same time. So like even here, like see the way everything's starting to move at the same time, I want to be able to break that up. Right, so like in here, like I want to be able to get like a little bit of an anticipation, like in here, like between 79, maybe like, maybe 78 even. Like if I look here at this and then set a key right there, right? So I've got that in between right there, which is fine. But maybe I want to start the body uh, to anticipate. So it starts to come up before it comes down, right? And then here. Like same thing with the body itself. So just trying to find like that way to give it like that little bit of an anticipation, right? And then maybe the head can actually be the thing that actually starts this motion, right? So maybe we'll start to get like the head to come up and then drag a little bit more here, right? So I'm looking at ways to find that way to give it a little bit more fluidity a little bit more snap, a little bit more uh, sophistication to give us that, that feel that I'm looking for, right? to give it that snap and emotion. And all this like happens like when you're starting to break stuff down. And then once you do like a little pass on each, uh, each one of the acting sections, then I start looking at the, the middle sections in between the lines, right? And even, and I want to make this absolutely clear, right. even if... And even and I want to make this absolutely clear. Even if that. Even and I want to make this absolutely clear. Even if that. Even and I want to make this absolutely clear. Good. Okay. Even so if like that, that little that little section's now getting a little bit busy for me. So like even though like I'm seeing like the the accents and all that, like I still want to go in and just kind of sweeten this, like so that it doesn't feel so busy. So like it's the right idea, but I'm just going to reduce and contain the head just a little bit. Because again, like, you know, I almost broke my, my same rule, right? Like where I didn't want to hide the, uh, I didn't want to hide the, the eyes, right? So I'm going to bring this back down so that I don't lose that, that same pose that I was looking for, right? So I'm just trying to keep that same energy in there. Okay, so I can still have this little part right here where, where it sort of anticipates. Right in here. But again, like now, now I'm kind of getting into sort of just looking really at the head. So I just had a key there just on the head. So I'm just trying to contain this just a bit more. I want to make this. Keep it a little bit more central, just a little bit more contained. That's a bit better. I feel like that's better. Even, and I want to make this absolutely clear. Even if that. Good. Even and I want to make this absolutely clear. Yeah. Even if so, I'm now now it still has like that little bit of energy, a little bit of life, um, and then like once the facial gets on top of it, then it, it'll bring it all together. But it's just really trying to take away um, some of those computer in betweens that make it feel really floating. You know. But even and I want to make this absolutely clear. All right. So let's do like a little play blast of that section. Just so we can see how that's feeling. But does that make sense? Uh, like, you know, but like, you know, uh, keying out single parts. So when I'm actually doing the major blocking, like I will key everything because I want it to be like a pillar pose. I want to be, be 
um, like, you know, everything's stacked on top of each other, like as if it's a drawing. Um, so I won't just set a key on just the head, like in the blocking stage. But now we're starting to break things down. So it starts to become a little bit more organic. Um, but like for most of the breakdowns, like all the way down to threes and twos, you know, every two frames or every three frames, uh, there still will be a key on absolutely everything. But then maybe sometimes on the ones, if I'm scrubbing through and I can feel like the head hitting a wall or a hand or an arm feeling like it's hitting a wall, um, I will just set a key just on that, but I'll be looking at everything else. And if everything else needs to be adjusted a little bit, then I'll set a key on the whole body, even if it's on ones. All right. That, that way, like I can, I can, you know, feel free to control every single frame. Right. And even, and I want to make this absolutely clear, even if. See, that, that feels now like it's, it's sinking to the actual dialogue, even without uh, seeing that the actual mouth shapes or the, the expressions, you know, it feels like the body's actually more in sync now. And even, and I want to make this absolutely clear, even if... And then what's nice about it is you get this texture um, of like all this crazy motion and then nothing. Like just, just kept alive, just very, very minor. And then we'll have like these little eye darts or a little drop in the mouth or a little drop in the jaw you know, maybe a raise in the brow, you know, just before he goes into the next little section, right? But like, what's nice of it, if the whole thing was that um, erratic or that like, um, uh, like busy, you know, motion, then it would feel like it's way too much. But because I'm trying to make like the fast motions, like these small little bursts of energy, and then relax, you know, so that it's a little bit more enjoyable to watch, rather than uh, times at the exact same timing, right? Because then it starts to become a little bit boring, right? And even, and I want to make this absolutely clear, even if... All right, good. And even, and I want to make this absolutely clear. So like, even with this hands, the way that's coming down here, this feels a little bit too slow. Like, I feel like that should be a little bit faster. See the way like it's kind of coming down? And even and I want to make this happen. It just feels a little slow. So let's go ahead and knock that on the head right away. Right? Just because like now we've seen it. And usually what I do is um, <clears throat> once we get like the whole body worked out, you know, then we work on the facial. And then I do like a whole kind of polish pass throughout the whole shot. You know, seeing like, okay, now we've got the whole thing on ones. You know, but now like I'm seeing things just as I'm noticing it, right? So like I want to be able to see the spacing between here like, so I'm watching like the hand come down here nice and snappy, nice and fast. And then it's nice and snappy, nice and fast through there. And then it feels like it's slow right there, right? So let's keep that same energy going, right? So it should be basically somewhere around here, right? Like if it's on twos, and bring it back even further here. Okay. And then we can bring it back out. Right, then we can start to, to bring it out again, right? So it has that little bit of an overshoot, which is nice, right? Because then we, we'll have like that little bit of, um, of an extra move that, uh, that adds to the freneticness of like the rest of the, the shot. Okay, but I don't want to make it too smooth, right? I don't want to make it like so that it feels like it's taking forever to, uh, to settle. So like in here, maybe we can have like a little bit of a, a little bit of a tremble right there, just to give it like the whole body that kind of feel. Just ever so slightly though, because I don't want it to be distracting away from you know, what's going on in the this part where I really want like our attention to be drawn, right? Right here, boom. Make sure we get that nicely hit. Absolutely clear. Good. Okay. 
So again, let's just do a quick play. Even, even and I want to make this absolutely clear. Even if, and I want to make this absolutely clear. Even if, and, even and I want to make this absolutely it still clear. Feels a little slow even, even if, through here. Even and I want to make this. Okay, stop that. Let's go through. So, well, well, hit right here. Let's bring that in nice and fast. Because it does feel like that's where like it's actually hitting. So hit right there, tiny bit of follow through, and then start to bring it out. Let's just keep it back there. So it feels like it's, uh, we're not gonna see like light coming through there. So take away some of that, that negative space back there. Um, <clears throat> Do you always plan the scene in 2D, Jason, or do you ever go straight to 3D? Uh, usually, like, in cartoony shots, I will do a 2D pass because it's something that, that I can't figure out just in my head. You know, any time that I did try to go straight into uh, CG, it always sort of ended up being, like, a, a more of a bag of tricks, really. You know, something that maybe a shot that I've done before or... It's so short that I really don't need to, you know, like let's say it's just like 24 frames or something. Um, but like if it's a big shot like this, absolutely, you know. Um, sometimes like if, if it's something that I can physically do um, live action wise, I'll shoot reference for it. But I'll never go into a shot like this without some sort of a clear plan, right? Because uh, it's, it's just way too big of a shot. You know, and if I did this like just straight in CG, it, it, I would still be blocking at this point. You know, um, like the 2D stuff, even though it's super, super scribbly, um, it, it's a it's a worthwhile pass for me to do um, because it really helps me to to hone in on um, the performance. Even if it's not exactly what I want, then I can I can still use it as inspiration for the actual posing, right? Even and I want to make this absolutely clear. That's better. Okay. Even if and even and I want to make this absolutely clear. Even if and even and I want to make this absolutely clear. Even if. All right. Good. All right. Let's move on to this last section right here. Clear. Even. All right. So <clears throat> uh, there's a lot of work that needs to happen here because um, it, it's it was sort of one of those things where. Like I was um, inspired by some of this stuff. And then I was like, oh man, because like you can see like this is basically that pose. And then this is basically that pose. And then that's that pose. But like straight after this, this is where like I, I start to, to use just as inspiration, like just where it was coming from. And I was like, oh man, what if I go right from here instead of going back to a neutral, if I just brought those guys out and around and make it feel a little bit broader, a little bit more like he's he's finishing on a high note rather than on a low note, you know. So, so I've got to try and figure out like, okay, how do I get how do I get like into this pose a little bit better, right? Because right now it feels just a little too underbaked. And what I'm looking at here is this is my main pose, and this is the pose and action that I want to get into. So I really want to try to get low into this because out of this becomes a high accent, right? So it becomes like, boom, exploding up, right? So if I did an arc that's sort of like this, just feels like it's like arc up, down, up, down, right? So, but if I go straight under here and keep it like nice and strong, I feel like it's going to... Uh, suit us better right so if i arc him down and under into this it's going to be a better arc i think it's going to feel better right so let's go ahead and see if we can get into this right so i'm here to sort of get like this head so that it feels like it's going that way and um, the body let's bring it forward so it feels like it, it's actually coming through here and then this one, again, just sort of bringing it down a little bit lower so that it can work into these poses right here. Okay, just bringing this forward, bringing it forward. And then we get this little explosion up into there. 
So don't bring them up. Don't bring them up, keep them down. Okay, this would be like the, the one last sort of anticipation before it comes up, right? So in here, between this and this, this is where we're gonna start to, to get into that pose, right? So let's go ahead, do a select all, so the, so the key, okay? So right in here, like just so we can get like something nice and broad, I'm gonna start to bring them slightly opposite, right? So this way, so that we can get like it, the whole body kind of leaning towards screen left before it goes screen right. Okay, and then drag this a little bit and drag up. So usually like what I'm trying to do is favor the previous pose just so like it has that, that uh, where we're coming from something rather than just uh, starting into nothing, right? So start favoring from this pose right here, okay? And you can already start to see like the opposing actions happening, right? This arm going this way and his left arm going towards screen right. Okay, so start to bring that that way and then we'll get uh, this arm bending back. And then we'll even get like a, maybe a little bit more of a drag on here. So it starts to come forward. Okay, this one, I'll start to bring it out a little bit, get it a little bit wider. So it really starts to come like around into this, right? So a little bit more wild as a transition rather than everything sort of going in the same direction. So this is swinging up this way, this is swinging around, right? So here we could maybe even try to get a little bit of a smear frame out of this. So instead of bringing this like just straight around into that, we could maybe go, whoosh, go right across whoosh, into that. So it might feel a little bit more erratic, right? So this will hit your smear frame uh, quota, right? <laughs> okay, so here, what I'm standing up here is like a nice wild head turn as well. Right, so like it'll be like a nice transition into this pose here, which is like the sort of like the uh, the erratic arm movements, right? That we want to try and get. Okay, just gonna bring this out a little bit, so it's not interpenetrating inside his head. So maybe we'll bring this up a little bit higher, maybe. So again, I'm trying to get something that's a little wilder, right? So in, out, we'll get this one to come a little wider out this way, and then back in, and that's gonna explode up into that. Okay, this one, maybe a little lower. Uh, no, actually, let's keep it high, and then make this one a little bit lower. Okay, this hand is a little bit this way. Okay, now <clears throat> we will bring the, the whole body just a little bit lower to make it a little bit more uh, broad getting into this pose. This one a little bit lower too. So I'm looking at just graphically how can we make this a little bit more pushed, right? So this one here, maybe make it a little bit lower here. And then we're getting this to come up and around. So maybe we can push this a little bit higher. So as if he's coming up on his tippy toes and then start to come back down into that. Boom, here, this one, maybe make it a little bit lower. Good. 
And then the last post will be over here somewhere. So the key there. We'll get the everything just to sort of settle down here. All right, so let's let's have a look in here. So anticipate before we do this, right? So I don't want everything starting at the same time again, right? So I'm going to look at two thirty six and then two fifty eight. So I imagine maybe a three frame little anticipation, like around two fifty five, right? So I'm going to set a key on everything right there. Okay, so like, okay, so now it's going to be 258. Let's start to, to bring it back. So they can kind of anticipate that. All right, a little drag right there. Okay, just kind of scrub through just to see the kind of arc that we're making. Okay, right here. And get this to go a little bit higher and then we'll start to get like a little bit of a smear frame here right so we'll start to go a little wider so it feels like it we can turn a little bit faster here but what i'm trying to do is get like his face to cover graphically from there over to there nice and quick okay and here, bring it over a little bit. So it feels just a little bit closer to that final destination. Okay, good. All right, and then for the hand, let's go ahead and just zero out like the fingers, right? Because this is going to be like he's, he's going to be more wide like this, right? So I can basically go, okay, right fingers, middle mouse those onto the, the previous frame, 62, right? And even here, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just zero them out. Okay, zero selection. Okay, and then it's got keys on the, um, the actual hand pose itself, right? So like this little square thing right here. On the other side of this hand so let's go ahead and grab that and zero that out too so this one's going to give us um, a little bit more of a uh, of a flare feel right so we're going to do that and then we're going to go curl backwards go this way um thumb curl this way okay and maybe we'll get the I want to spread out a little bit that way. Okay. And then let's have a look. So we've got like this, this kind of spread out hand, right? So like even without doing anything, you can feel like a smear kind of happening, right? But now we can go in on the fingers, like this, this guy, and this guy, and <clears throat> start to, to scale them, right? So just like in X. Okay, going that way, right? And then we can go ahead and just bring this guy a little bit more up here. And I'm just going to start to angle them in the direction that they actually came from, right? So to get this little bit of a curved feel. Okay, so it comes from there. Okay, drag that. Okay, drag this. Okay, go to that point right there. I'm going to set a key on everything on this frame. Okay, so now it's going to go swooshing through there, right? Question. Uh, Lona, a little tech question. Is the head and the arms world orientated or body orientated? And Jenny, which one do you suggest to move? Uh, <clears throat> the head is actually more world orientated, um, and so are the arms. Um, because I tend not to like um, counter animation, right? So 
in other words, if they were body orientated, um, it would move, whoops, let's pick on the, the chest. It would move exactly with this, right? And so are the arms, right? So, but they're actually trying to remain uh, orientated to the world, which makes it a lot easier to use. Um, now, it totally depends on what you're doing and, and which way you start to animate. Because um, when I was starting to animate, there was no FK. It was all IK, right? Like in Disney, everything was broken IK. And so like everything, you could take the hips and put them in the next room and the upper body would stay exactly where it was. And so there was no FK at all. So like when I got to start to use FK, I found it really limiting because I felt like, but I, I want my head to, to face the opposite way to my body. And everything about FK the way it was, um, was doing the opposite, <laughs> you know? So, um, so like as soon as like the world sort of constrained head came in, I was like all over it. Same with the, with the arms. Um, uh, cause that, that really didn't come in, uh, gosh, I want to say like maybe 2005. Um, you know, that, I mean, that, that's the first time I started using it. Um, but it probably was uh, available like at other studios, maybe other than Disney. Um, but uh, but we were using just IK for everything, you know, which made it like more like 2D animation um, rather than anything else. Um, and I could see the benefits in using just the broken IK rig. It just um, it was just one of those things where you had to set a lot more keys than than you really should have, you know, or needed to. And it didn't really suit um, um, natural or naturalistic animation very well. Like you could do cartoony stuff with it super easy. Um, just required a lot more drawings like, like we would have done in 2D. Um, but now like with, uh, with technology, I do really like FK because it gives me all the arcs um, for free, you know? I mean, well, not for free, but I mean, it gives me arcs a lot easier than just translating um, IK, world space, like, you know, all the way through. And sometimes I will actually use IK, but in body space. Um, so like I can actually keep the arms intact, and, but then I'll actually just use the IK like to, to, uh, to give myself like a little bit more freedom like of, of where the arcs are and no gimbal lock, right? But, uh, but it's, a, it's a really good question. But, uh, but yeah, so they're, they're just a short answer, they are in world space rather than body space. All right. Cool. All right, so let's go through. So like, I'm just kind of scrubbing through here, just seeing like which way we're transitioning now. All right, so I want one more frame of this hand, like smearing through this way, right? So it comes from there all the way across over to there. And we probably want to just um, have a transitional frame um, so that it, it doesn't just have, uh, go from white palms to, to dark, you know, so we may want to have just a little bit of a curl on here. Just so it uh, it comes out of that, right? So I can hear, that's good, All right? And then here, I wanna keep that, that smear frame happening just a little bit longer. Okay, so it goes nicely up into that. Okay, so again, I'll pick these guys. I'm doing it like literally just in, in X, right? So just, oops, sorry, in X this way. So smearing that way, and I wanna try and keep them off the, the bottom of the frame there. So swooping through. And it kind of feel like the fluidity, right? You can kind of feel like how that smear is kind of helping to translate the shape across the screen. Okay. All right. And then over here, let's see with this hand, the way it's going to come around, bring it up and around. So again, I'm just looking at the arc that this hand is actually making now, right? Seeing which way like it's going around the body. Okay. And then seeing like what the in-betweens are like. So I'm set a key right there. I feel like that's working okay. Could probably like bring it up and around 
just a little bit more here. Okay, let the hand flip up and over. Okay, let's just play through there. And I want to make this absolutely clear, even if they do say Jehovah. Okay. And okay. I want to make this absolutely clear, even if they do say Jehovah. All right, good. So that little transition there is feeling okay. All right, so now like I want to go in through like this erratic thing here. So I feel like we can go a little bit broader right between here to here. So let's go ahead and set some keys in here. All right, so I'm going to go on twos right there just so I can see what's actually happening. So in here, I'm going to let the hand go a little bit wider this way, right? This hand is okay because it's in, right? And then I want it to be out, like so I get that nice opposite feel, okay? Try to push that a little bit further. Just really trying to break... Uh, like the, the arcs on it a little bit, you know, just so it feels like it's, uh, like it's not smooth, you know? So again, like this little burst, like, and then come back into uh, something that, that feels a little bit more held, which is like our explosive pose right here, okay? Okay, so like in here, Right there on that in between, I'm going to get the hand to, to go the opposite way here. So we get this little drag happening there and then it flicks out. Right, flicks out, flicks out this way. So again, I'm just on ones now, just on that hand, right? Because now that the body is sort of like doing its thing, and I've got to look at the, this arm now, see what it's doing. Okay, so just on ones. You know, go in here to see where the flips are happening. So it'll drag there, flip it over. Okay. Start to bring it back. Okay, good. And then I'm going to take a look at the head now. So just seeing like where this is actually breaking down. Okay, so it's coming from there. Okay, that's good. Maybe go a little bit more, rotate over that way. A little bit more rotate over this way. Maybe dip it down a bit. Because it's sort of like the big anticipation before this explosive burst up here, right? So in here, a little bit more drag, and then hit it up, right? Okay, now I need to break down the arms here, right? So that they get like a nice big anticipation out of this, right? So bring it way down. So come down from there, really pushing the arc, right? So here down whoosh, and then it's going to come straight up boom okay so drag down and then up and then it's going to go beyond that right so it's going to be a nice heavy hit so i didn't break down this hand right so you can see like that's a little bit smooth going up into there so pushing like the upper arm and that arc is going to help right So again, like if I'm watching like the arc and the path of action that's making, just in the keys, it sort of just kind of hits around there. But if I start to break it down a bit, like just bring this down a little bit further, down here, we start to get a bit more of a broader arc, right? So in here, start to bring it down a little bit further. Here, that might be okay, just set a key there. 
So here, hand wise, start to go the other way. Start to break it down, flip it over. And it starts to come up nice and hard into there. Okay, so now, <clears throat> so hitting through there, now we need to go up beyond and then use this pose as the start to come back down, right? So we're going to go beyond this pose and then come back down, right? So let's go ahead, copy that. I'm going to copy it over to 285. So doing that, like I've got everything selected, I'm just middle mousing on that next frame and then hitting S, right? Just to set a key on everything, okay? They do, right? So let's go beyond that. So both arms go up in the same direction that they they came in, right? So it's like coming up and then going beyond, right? So same thing with all the rest of the body. Okay, so like the head comes up, they do, right? The chest is coming up and around again. Keep that going. Right, the body comes up, probably a little bit more forward and up. Get a little bit rotate. Okay, and then it's going to start to come back down into that other pose, right? So we've got to make sure that it's starting to come up a little bit further, and that's going to start to come back down into that. Okay, so this will be. All right, and even here, I probably will want to get these guys up a little bit higher. Okay, bring that up a little bit more. And now I'll switch over to there, okay. They do say it over. And I want to make this absolutely clear. Even if they do say Jehovah. And I want to make this absolutely clear. Even if they do say Jehovah. And I want to make this absolutely clear. Even if they do say Jehovah. And I want to make this absolutely clear. Even if they do say Jehovah. Okay, stop. Okay, so we need to hit that nice and hard, nice and fast, right? So again, between here to here, this has got to be fast. It can't be slow, right? So it's got to be like, boom. So probably on twos. So do. And then this is sort of like on the way down. So let's just again go a little bit beyond, start to work out that transition. Okay, so the hand still going up and then starts to come down into that. Do say, do. They do. All right, now start to bring maybe the head to go over, start to look over this way. Okay, a little bit more rotate in the body. Okay, and here, so we got this coming up. A little higher. Do say. Okay. So break, just knocking away at this little gap right here, like the seven frames, like just to get away. They do. They do. They do. And then maybe just a little bit of a shake on there as well. So just to take the curse off of how smooth, like the uh, the arms are, because right? it just hits this fluid path, right? Do say. So I start to bring this a little bit more erratic up here. So a little bit back and forwards. Okay. 
Okay, again in here. So I'll get like a little bit of the opposite, right? So a little bit wide here. Okay, and then in here. And I'm doing this like on twos, right? So it's a little faster, a little snappier. Do say. Okay, and here, just on the arms for now. Just trying to get like that, a little bit of, a little bit of energy right there. Okay. And I want to make this absolutely clear, even if they do say Jehovah. And I want to make this absolutely clear, even if they do say Jehovah. And I want to make this absolutely clear. Even if they do say Jehovah. All right. So let's <clears throat> just as we're going in through there. So we want to just see what the body's doing. So we can really get like a little bit more fluidity here. So maybe we can push the transition here. Right. So as the body's coming down, maybe just lean them over a little bit more so we can get a little bit more of a reversal here. So again, just sort of pushing some of these transitions so that we can get and some more change up, right? So here, maybe we can get the head to fall through. <clears throat> so we start to get the head just to come up and come into that pose. So it, like, so it's not like everything, again, sort of landing at the same time. Okay, the same thing with the body here. So if we get this little transition there, a little bit transition here. Drag the head a little bit more there. So see what I'm trying to do, like is get like a little bit more of this fluidity happening, right? So here, and we can push this just a bit further. So we get that a little bit more of a drop down. And then we hit this nice and hard up here. Go a little bit beyond that little accent, right? And then I'll come back down into that. Okay, same thing with the body here. Because it feels like it just kind of snaps up into there. But like if, if we can add a little bit more uh, motion through the through the root, it'll feel a little bit more connected. All right, so we get through there. Okay, now, transition-wise, like through here, now we've got to figure out, like, what's going on, right? Because there's, there's a few things happening here, like where the, the hand feels like it needs to have a little bit more of a breakdown coming through there. All right, so as it flakes around, right? So coming around this way. And then it comes back over there, which is really nice. Because I, I like I like how fast it comes around there, but we just want to make sure that it transitions nicely. Okay. Now, um, boom, hand. Okay, and just sort of like watching like how it transitions from there and around. Okay. And this arm pose, maybe we can make this go a little bit more this way. And swing around, okay. Okay, and here I'm gonna just do the arm. Let this come down a little bit further. Get this to be nice and broad. Okay. Here, a little bit wilder. Okay, a little lower here. 
yeah, I'm just trying to find like that, that wild arc. If I can bring one arm down before the other, that'd be even better. Just to kind of take the, uh, the sort of like the twinning out a little bit, you know. But <clears throat> when I'm when I'm thinking about this stuff, I'm I'm not really too concerned about twinning, especially if the character is super passionate about what they're doing. But what I'll try to do is, um, on the way from pose to pose, try to find a more interesting way of bringing uh, the limbs from pose to pose, right? So, so if I can find like a, a, a nice transition way and to break it up, then that will be uh, a way to kind of like give more interest to the actual pose. All right, so like this one's got like a kind of an interesting way of coming down because it feels like like in the keys, like it's got this really nice anticipation back and then it's going to flip over. So we want to try to get that in there, which is different to what's on the other arm. So I'm going to try to bring this up and around, which is cool. So we keep that going. So again, I mean, I'm just kind of like uh, working just on the arm itself because it is sort of a little bit more independent to what the body is actually doing. Okay, right here. Swing it around there. And then, boom, this is too low. So bring that back up in here. All right. There was a question there. Hold on a sec. All right, Beth, uh, thank you very much for the smear frame in depth. I've been struggling with it. <laughs> no worries. Absolutely. No worries, Beth. Absolutely. And I want to make this absolutely clear. Even if they do say Jehovah. And I want to make this right, absolutely good. clear. Even if they do say Jehovah. And I want to make this absolutely clear. Even if they do say. So you can see, like, I'm really trying to get that nice. <laughs> flippy roundy hands here like to get that nice and broad right uh, I'm gonna turn off the audio here just for a sec just so I can kind of scrub through it okay just so I, I can get that nice broad feel and then by pushing this anticipation even more and um, it gives me like this extra extra oomph I guess like to the anticipation right because now we've got like this nice little drag happening in the upper body and the head as the hands are sort to are like the, the leading action really you know and then bring it up so let's bring that up a little bit higher even and then we can let him come back down into this and then, and then we're going to try to find like this nice transition here too right so in our last five minutes so like Right in here, a little bit more drag with the chest. Okay, as he's kind of swinging down right there. And then feel like the, it gets a little stiff the way it comes up through here. So let's, again, let it follow through. So like the chest to follow through there. A little bit more drag here. Okay, and then we can let it follow through a little bit there. Right, so like it comes down, comes up and around, and then starts to drag through here. So like I'm adding, like that the the hips are basically like the thing that's um, that's driving like this overlap, right? So we just kind of find like that nice little way of bringing that to life, right? So we bring this through here, a little bit more drag there, okay, and a little bit more follow through here. And then just let that little last part settle just a little bit, right? Just so, like, he's not coming to a complete stop because he's still, like, in that rage mode, right? Well, we just want to keep that last pose alive. Okay. 
Okay, good. All right, now let's throw back on the audio. We'll do a, we'll do a little uh, play blast here. Now there was that one thing at the very, very beginning, right? Like, so basically what I was trying to say is like, we probably want to go from, instead of like going from looking all the way over there, I feel like the head should almost be a little bit more turned here, right? So it's, so it, we're going sort of in that same direction rather than in the complete opposite direction. Just so it has that moment to, to sort of settle into this pose, right? And then once we've got that, then I think we're, we'll be in better shape. So now it's not going to be a complete uh, 180 from the pose that he was trying to get into. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, very, very first JRA demo. It's the first of many this block. Um, so what I try to do is different styles. You know, I try to do like one cartoony one, one more realistic one, and we'll do body mechanics ones, we'll do uh, more dialogue ones, right? So I'll give you like a broad range of like just how I approach things. And it's like, this is literally not supposed to be, this is how you should do it. It's more like this is how I do it, and hopefully you'll find it inspiring, um, and maybe try out a few things. Um, but you absolutely, this is there's more than one way to literally skin a cat, right? Um, but like you want to just see what way works for you, and then see if you can find those ways of getting that same sort of fluidity into your performances, right? So it's like one of those things where it's more like you know there's different ways of getting to that last goal. Right, so whichever way works for you is great, but just don't um, don't lose sight of like you know the the fluidity, the snap, the uh, the, the pushed poses, the uh, the smear frames like you were talking about. You know anything that will give you like that little bit more sophistication into our work. Now look, no one is to stone anyone until I blow this whistle. Do you understand? Even, and I want to make this absolutely clear, even if they do say Jehovah. Cool. All right. So I feel like at this stage, um, we can put this shot aside until we get the, uh, the actual facial you know, rig from Van Victor. And then we can start to, uh, to get right into doing the expressions and everything. Because at this stage, like we've got like a good you know, sort of blocking pass in here, right? Uh, and some of it feels like it's more than blocking, of course, but, but it feels like, okay, this is great. Let's get everything um, like with the facial and expressions up to this point, and then we can start to really hone in and refine the, uh, the actual animation. All right, cool. So questions, questions. Um, I find many animators do this phase of animation in the graph and it recurs rather than working in the actual scene with controllers and set of keys. Why do you find working with keys itself better or more comfortable? Well, it really is just uh, keeping my eyes on the graphicness of the character. And uh, when I'm going into the curves, there's a tendency to over smooth the animation, to make beautiful curves. And uh, whereas for me, it's more important for me to look at uh, the actual character, you know, and I don't really care what the curves are doing. It's more, for me, it's more important to get the energy out of the character, to keep our visuals, our eyes on the visuals, what the audience is going to see. And later on, I can smooth out the curves, you know, like in the polish phase, but I feel like going into the curves too early, uh, for me, doesn't work because I end up trying to get like just really smooth animation then rather than um, trying to get that energy in there, right? So I almost want there to be some pops you know, to, to have that frenetic energy. And then if it's too much later on, if, it's, if it becomes strobey, um, then yes, I'll start to smooth that stuff out and contain it a little bit more. But I want to wait until I get everything in there uh, so that I can really feel it. But like you missed the very first blocking of this. And so like it, for anybody who's new to iAnimate, definitely go back into uh, the actual shot and I'll show you exactly where that is. So like if I'm in here, and I go to my JRA demos, IA Weekly demos. Okay. Uh, we go right to here. This is where it was. This is from the very last one from last block, right? 
So this is the, the 2D rough demo, and this is the, the start of that blocking, right? So you can start to see like how the, the shot started to build up, right? So this is where it was at the end of last block. Now look, no one is to stone anyone until I blow this whistle. Do you understand? Even, and I want to make this absolutely clear, even if they do say Jehovah. Right, and then this is where we are at the end of tonight. Now look, no one is to stone anyone until I blow this whistle. So Do you that understand? Was, that part worked out very well. Like even though like it was sort of one of those parts that it was okay, but like, you know, once I started to get in there and started to, to do that straight ahead pass to get uh, more fluidity, a more uh, more visual language, like into the strobes and like the the sort of the shakes, it started to fill out a little bit more, right? Until I blow this whistle, do you understand? Even and I want to make this absolutely clear. Even if they do say Jehovah. And then no, I got no, the last no part, one. you know, obviously as well, like trying to really try to push like the uh, the the craziness of these hand moves. And then, like, even even though when we get like to the to the facial stage, we can even break this up a little bit further, drag this hand down a little bit more, raise this hand up a little bit further, so that we can get an even more uh, of a breakdown between them. You know, because right now it almost feels like they're going up at the same time, and it would be nice just to drag this one down behind just a little bit further, and just to give it that extra little bit bit of the uh, overlapping action. Even if they do say Jehovah, now look. No one is to stone anyone until I blow this whistle. Do you understand? Even, and I want to make this absolutely clear, even if they do say Jehovah. All right, no, cool. No. So that's a, that's a good point, like right now, to save it. And then uh, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll post this up for you guys to, to keep for your archives. All right? All the best, you guys. See you next week. And uh, have a fantastic first week at iAnimate. All right? Thank you guys, all the very best, bye.